Hi, I am Karthik. Welcome back to my Marktech channel. Uh, in this video, I am going to uh, explain you about uh, uh, Make. Make as a Make, formerly known as Intergramat, is an effective alternative of uh, Zapier, uh, which is basically like an integration tool, uh, no code integration tool. You can connect uh, multiple platforms. Uh, any platforms you may wish uh, sh google sheets slack or any crms law, uh, do uh, document signing tools panda doc or task uh, task uh, project management tools ClickUp, asana or like uh, monday any any kind of tools you can uh, um, you can uh, you can integrate and this this uh, tech uh, workflow management uh, workflow will ensure that no uh, this uh, this process most of the process are completely automated uh, one module can speak to another module through ap uh, and uh, they can uh, uh, the values can be filled up easily uh, but the core thing is like whenever I, I have done many many uh, projects or scenarios in the make and my core thing is like when we have like a, a large um, scenario with like uh, multiple modules multiple branches with routers uh, uh, di a completely different set of modules uh, it would be very tough uh, basically for uh, uh, to have the uh, date function in a singular format uh, so date and time are very essential functions i will show you like how we can pass it how we can uh, uh, format a date from uh, one format to other another format so that one module can understand uh, one module say one uh, say google sheet module you want to have uh, date time and the zone uh, zo uh, the time zone also in another google sheet or like any other module you may want to have date time and am or pm or just a date alone those kind of things will be needed in in most of the most of the times when you use when you go for large scenarios i will show you all the date functions i have already mapped it uh, so that you can uh, you can understand in a very simpler way this uh, just for the just for this demo i have used a past json past json is uh, is nothing but passing a json i have a simple date time variable uh, key and the time and the um, and a date and the time in this format okay uh, you can go and see there are like uh, these are like variables uh, module uh, available from previous modules and this would be like general function this will be max math functions and this will be text function say you want to have the uh, uh, measure the length of a particular string that we can use it here but uh, for this topic we are sticking with the uh, date and time function they say these are all the time functions we have and these are all the variables now and time symbol. i will show you all the things which you uh, use most of the times okay now let's pa let's set it as a multiple variable multiple variable like you can use uh, you can uh, it's like taking in notes and you can use it in different modules as per the, on different references date alone say if at all i want to have a date alone you can just uh, in, uh, uh, see like format date and you input the fair you input the uh, just wait i will show it format date just ensure that the function name ah yeah right and the variable we are going to use is like date time right and the place a semicolon mm dd y y y and close the bracket that's it now if we run click for, don't forget to save just click it run this module alone date time Just copy because we are running this model it does it's not it it doesn't know the anything about the previous model output so it's asking for the user input so yeah, now i have given a date time but the thing is like just wait why 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 sorry it got confused now again i'm running this module 
see I have given a date with the time uh, date with the time but now with the formatting thing of like this I have got the date function date part alone this way this will be uh, this I can use it anywhere same goes for the time zone time zone you have to add an another semicolon and you have to give the time zones where, which are available you can use the Wikipedia t, uh, time zones available so those uh, exact think you have to use uh, for the time you have you can use hutch hutch colon mm format in the if if you run this you will see you will get an output like this like date and time right this is how you can uh, but yeah, you see that uh, see the difference here you i have set the time just wait I have set the time as 19 for 2023 11 6 but since I have set the time zone as American uh, America Los Angeles time it's it's giving the output for the corresponding American time 2236 right so this is how uh, this is how it formats the time from one zone to another zone say what if if at all you want to you want say a user has onboarded uh, uh, you onboarded Boarded to your platform now you want to send a reminder to your team through slack after two days just for the um, demo you assume this case uh, you can you can you can uh, have a function called set date set date is like you can uh, you can uh, add a date to the incoming variable or the car uh, the time from the time date you can add any number of dates say if at all you want to add uh, date time uh, date time belongs to 1940 uh, 2023 right if at all i want 15th of that month 15th of that month means if at all you give the input as 15 now just check once you can see it uh it throws around it throws like just wait just wait yeah after the um sorry i got i i have moved to the next one sorry after two days means uh it uh, you can add any number of days after this date which means like if at all i have given 19 it shows nine instead of 19 it shows uh, 21 that's in that way it uh 19 plus 2 21 in that way it works for the say uh, for the set date from the same month which uh, which uh, I, which means like whatever the variable number you are giving here it will say i uh, i'm i'm giving an input data from the month of um, april uh, but uh, i want to have i i want to set the date as uh, 19th april instead of the incoming date of 15th april you can just uh, set a date as 19 here set date time day in from the date time it will it will uh, pick the month part alone it doesn't consider the other values it just takes the month part alone and when and it and uh, whichever the variable whichever the number you are giving it will uh, output with that number which means like we will get the 19th april as output see i am getting 19th april as output similar way you can give any number any number you can wish from 1 to 30 you can give any number 1 to th uh, 30 the, uh, the key thing is like i will show in the next uh, uh, next uh, variable thing 30 Be uh, because i am getting uh, because the input value have the month as april so it's th uh, th uh, uh, throwing an output of april 30 what if if i want like i want from 15 days from now uh, but it belongs to a different a different month right so what we can do you can you can uh, you can assume like every month has uh, th the april has 30 days and then whatever the number you are adding 37th means that it will pick up it will throw the output of may 7th just wait
ah here 37 it will take the input value of date time which is 19 fourth month basically forget about all those things fourth month 30 and uh, and the extra days we have given so the for the extra days it will move to the may month and it will show the may month thing say may 7th this is how you can use this set date and uh, set uh, set date add days and format date these are all very effective functions you uh, you can use for any any manipulation of date variables and uh, other uh, and the other functions which are which i'm quite, uh, quite regularly use other other uh, variables which are uh, functions and variable of make which i regularly use is now and the timestamp now and the timestamp is like now say uh, whatever the time the the, uh, the user might have added on a particular date uh, but the, uh, but he has scheduled an appointment on a different date say a user has come into the coming to your crm on april 1st he has scheduled an appointment on 10th uh, scheduled an appointment on 10th uh, and um, and the appointment the, the date he has booked the appointment is on 5th april uh, what, uh, you want to track the current date right the input in the uh, incoming webhook uh, data may not have that uh, current date so what you can use you can use the now variable now variable is like it show it it returns the current date uh, uh, current date with uh, with uh, in in a pre, in a default time uh, default format what you can do you can manipulate it by using format data like i have uh, modified hhmm a means like whether it's a am or pm and uh, and uh, mm. Uh, and the timestamp unique uh, unique time 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 you might be aware like if at all you are into programming you can you can use the unique timestamp also which is like from 1970 it it uh, it, uh, it allocates a number for each and every millisecond uh, um, but um, this will uh, this will return the unique timestamp let's uh, go into one two three of this one output right say uh, now means may 19th as per my system calendar ensure see that it's as per your system uh, as per your settings are uh, the time zone set you are the um, at the make uh, this will uh, this will return the output and now in decide format i can manipulate it accordingly whichever the way you i wish as i said it's i when you put a it it shows like whether it's a am or pm it's a unique timestamp this is the unique timestamp and sometimes you get uh, when you are into programming you often encounter these things you get you get uh, the date you will see it it looks like a date even in the excel sheet or like the google spreadsheet you can see it will exactly look like a date but but for when you apply the date formula it it doesn't work because it 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 is actually a string which is stored as a day uh, where which is uh which um the date is actually stored as a string so it uh, it uh, it may not yield the resp uh, expected results what, uh, what if if you happen to have that kind of problem here you can use the pass date function pass date is nothing but you can use like you can uh, it's like a similar to format date very similar to format date but instead of uh, date variable you have to give the string variable that's why i have given the quotation so uh, these are all uh, this is the um, this is the pass now time now timestamp and the pass date now timestamp are the variables and pass dates format date set date are like the functions of the uh, make uh, time date functions so these are all the functions you can use you can ma you can manipulate uh, the date and time as per the as per your requirements there are like few advanced things like uh, calculating the difference and all those things i will try to cover in the future video let me know if you have any queries in the comment section i will uh, i will export this scenario and attach the scenario in the description you can download it for your uh, for your reference and uh, thanks for watching please consider subscribing to my channel bye